Hi guys, this is here back with another video on easy math. Okay, today is a Friday, so I am going to release a video on circles. Okay, circles is an interesting topic. We completed so much of its topic. Okay, if you haven't checked my previous videos, go check it out. And come watch this video. Okay. In previous video on circles, we discussed about circle equation of a circle passing through three points. Okay. Today let's continue that and let's discuss about some new topics. Okay, first let's start by an example as every day. This is somewhat tough example. Okay, let's see how to solve it. Okay, the line 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0 meets the circle x square plus y square minus 2y minus 9 is equal to 0 at a and b. Okay, let's understand that there are two points a and b. There is a speciality of those points that is they are the points of intersection of two curves. They are 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. That is the first curve. Okay, as you can observe it is a straight line. And the other one is x square plus y square minus 2y minus 9 is equal to 0. As you can observe it contains x square y square and the coefficients are equal. So it is equation of a circle. That is the trick or the way to tell whether a equation is of a circle or not. And the other thing, if there are xy terms, that is also not a circle. Okay, now we should find the equation of a new circle whose diameter is AB. AB is one of its diameter. As we know, diameters are infinite in number. Okay, now let's see how to solve it. Is there any easy way or we should solve it using our basic ideas? Let's see this. Okay, first let's think how can we solve this? Okay, if we solve those two equations, you will get the point of their intersection, right? Point of intersection means their solutions. So, if we solve them, we will get two points. If we, and two, those two points are A and B. And we should find their midpoint which is center of the circle and their radius we can find it. Okay, let's see how to solve this. First, we have the equation 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. If you want, you can see through all of this solution. I am going to explain that. 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. That is an equation. Okay, how can we solve that such that we can solve the another equation of a circle, which is of a circle? Okay, we can use substitution method. There are so many ways you can use elimination means it eliminates the terms or substitution means substituting equation of a, one of the variable. Now let's see the substitution method. Okay, now substitute y is equal to 2x plus 6 which we modified from the equation of straight line in the equation of the circle. Then we would get x square plus y square we should substitute 2x plus 6 so 2x plus 6 whole square minus 2 into 2x plus 6 minus 9 is equal to 0 then how can we solve this if we do squares and simplify that then we will get x square do square of 2x plus 6 whole square you will get 4x square plus 24x plus 36 and if we multiply 2x plus 6 with 2, then we will get minus 4x minus 12 minus 9 is equal to 0. If we simplify that means taking the terms with equal variables and adding them, you will get 5x squared plus 20x plus 15 is equal to 0. Now we need the values of x. How can we get them? It's simple. Just solve those equations. How can we solve? For solving a quadratic for solving the quadratic equations, we have some ways like formula method means using the formula which is minus b plus or minus square root of minus minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a or we can use factorization method means factorizing the x term or we can use complete in square method means it is called as basic solving. 
it can be also called as basic solving because we solve that equation using our basic ideas okay let's see factorization because it will be easy and small method here 5x square and 15 now we should find in factorization we should find factors of product of those means product of x square term and the constant term if we multiply them you will get 75 x square now we should divide that into two factors such that their sum is 20x how can we divide okay 5 plus 15 it is 20 right and 5 into 15 it is 75 so we can divide that as 15x and 5x so 5x square plus 15x plus 5x plus 15 is equal to 0 if we take 5x and 5 5x from first two, two terms and 5 from from the second two terms and you will get 5x into x plus 3 plus 5 into x plus 3 if you take x plus 3 common x plus 3 into 5x plus 5 is equal to 0 now we should solve that you will get x plus 3 is equal to 0 x plus b may be 0 or 5x plus 5 may be 0 means you will get x is equal to minus 3 from x plus y is equal to 0 and 5x plus 5 is equal to 0 you will get x is equal to minus 1 ok now here let us imagine minus 3 as x1 and minus 1 as x2 why x1 and x2 because we are going to find the coordinates of two points if we keep two points as x and x it will be confusing so we will take x1 y x2 ok now for coordinates we need y coordinates too right without x with only x coordinates we cannot do anything we cannot solve the problems so we should find the y coordinates how can we find them okay in substitution method we will get two or three or any values for x if we substitute that values in the equation we get means we get the equation for single variable right we can substitute in that means y1 will be 2 into 2x1 plus 6 means x1 is minus 3 2 into minus 3 plus 6 which is nothing but 0 and y2 is equal to 2 into minus 1 plus 6 which is 4 so the coordinates are we should write like x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 so i'll get minus 3 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 4 and their midpoint what will be their midpoint okay their midpoint is nothing but we can just find it as x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 right isn't it okay minus 3 plus minus 1 means it will be minus 4 by 2 which is minus 2 and 0 plus 4 by 2 which is 2 so you get minus 2 comma 2 is the midpoint let us imagine that as h comma k why you will understand that later what will be the radius of the circle radius of the circle means nothing but midpoint which is the center of the circle to any point on the edge or we can take point on the diameter too right so let's take the point minus 3 comma 0 distance between minus 2 comma 2 and minus 3 comma 0 which will get square root of minus 1 whole square plus minus 2 whole square means it will be square root of minus 3 minus of minus 2 means minus 3 plus 2 means minus 1 and 0 minus 2 which is minus 2 so we'll get root minus 1 whole square is 1 and minus 2 whole square is 4 so we'll get root 5 let us imagine that as a okay you may have understood why you have imagined like h comma k and a because we have an equation of a circle with center and radius given that is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square if we substitute the values of x and y you'll get x square plus 4y plus 4 x square plus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 5 if you simplify that you will get the equation of the circle now let's see a new topic okay guys it's being a long video we completed nearly 10 minutes for the problem okay now let's see 
some new topics some new and interesting topics the first topic is how to find intercepts of a circle on the axis okay it is somewhat easy somewhat difficult to find the intercepts on the axis but to find intercepts on the axis we can easily do like x is equal to 0 for y intercepts and y is equal to 0 for x intercepts but it will not be somewhat reliable because we need the meaning of intercepts in circles means that the for example if you take x intercepts it means the distance covered in between the two intercepts on x axis if there is a if there is only a single intercepts that means the distance between the two intercepts is zero so we can visualize in that way if it is given that intercepts of a circle okay now let's see the theorem okay the theorem is length of intercepts made by circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 with x and y axis are 2 root g square minus c. Here g means that is half the coefficient of x and c means the constant term and f means the half the coefficient of y minus c means the constant term. This is how we can find the intercepts. The distances between the intercepts on the axis, respective axis. Okay, now how can we solve this? How can we prove this? Because we cannot do anything without understanding them, without knowing how they are formed. Okay, now let's see how to prove them. Okay, intercept on x-axis. How can we find the intercept on x-axis? As we discussed before, if you substitute y is equal to 0, we will get the intercept of x-axis. Let us imagine it meets x-axis at a1 and a2. Because for concept understanding, for easy solving, we should take two points. Because we should remember, if we not take two points, we should remember all the coordinates. It will be somewhat difficult. So, let us take two points. Okay, it is on x-axis, y will be 0. Therefore, x coordinates or abscissae of points x1, a1, and a2 or roots of the equation x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0. Okay, how is that? How we will get the roots of the, how we will get the x coordinates by solving this equation? Because if we substitute y is equal to 0, y terms will go out. So, we will get the following equation. And let x1 and x2 be the abscissa of a1 and a2 respectively. Here also we should imagine there are two points x1 and x2 and they are the x coordinates of a1 and a2. Then x1 and x2 are roots of the above equation. Okay, if there are two roots of a quadratic equation, then there are some, there are some theorems in the quadratic equations. They are nothing but the sum of the roots or the sum of the zeros or the sum of the solutions will be minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Okay, if you take the general equation, it will be general equation of a quadratic polynomial or quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, right? Then the sum of the roots will be minus b by a and the product will be my will be c by a. Here there is no minus. Similarly, we will get x1 and x2 are roots, right? So, x1 plus x2 will be minus b by a. Here b is 2g. Minus 2g by a is 1. So, it is minus 2g and similarly, x1, x2 will be c. Okay. Now, intercept on x-axis a1, a2. From this picture, as you can see here, a1, a2 are intercepts of x, means x intercepts. So, what will be the distance a1, a2? It will be a 2 means distance between origin and a2 minus y1, right? 
Similarly here, y a2 will be x2 because we think x quad x coordinate of a2 as x2 and x coordinate of a1 as x. The distance between origin and a point on x axis will be its x coordinate. So, you will get x2 minus x1. Okay, now, how can we solve this? Intercept on x axis is x2 minus x1. Okay, now, if we solve this, we will get the points. Okay, let's see how to solve that. Now we need x2 minus x1. How can we do that? If we think of algebra, some theorems in algebra means a plus b whole square theorem similar to that. There is a theorem that is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. Okay, that is not an important theorem because if we take a plus b whole square it is a square plus b square plus 2ab a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab if we subtract them we will get 4ab then a minus b will be square root of a plus b whole square minus 4ab here a means x2 and b means x1 so we will get square root of x2 plus x1 whole square minus 4x1 x2 ok we know that x1 x2 is c so we can write c and, and x1 plus x2 is nothing but minus 2g, right? If we square that, you will get 4g square. Means 4g square minus 4c. Square root of 4g square minus 4c. If you take 4 common, it will get square root of 4 into g square minus c. Root 4 is 2. So, you will get 2 into g square minus c. Similarly, y-intercept will get 2 root f square minus c. That's it. We have solved the problem. Here another thing is that here you may ask okay if g square is greater than c if g square is greater than c we will get two roots right because if you do a square root you will get plus or minus of some value so we will get two real roots here real means the roots belong to real numbers okay over easy then what if g square is equal to c then we will get g square is equal to c means g square minus c will be 0. So we will get the intercept as 0. Means That means that the two points or the two intercepts coincide. So the distance between those intercepts will be 0. Okay. Now here comes the real doubt. What if g square is less than c? We will get a negative value. How to square root that? Okay, for square rooting the negative values, there is a concept called imaginary numbers. Okay, if we see the number system, we will get first, we will get natural numbers, which is the subset of whole numbers, which is subset of integers, which is the subset of rational numbers. And there is another number called as rational numbers. This, the in union of in rational and irrational numbers is called as real numbers. And there are another numbers called as imaginary numbers. And union of imaginary and the real numbers is called as complex numbers. Okay, so it will be an imaginary number. Those are all the remarks. And it will be same for y-intercepts too. Okay, now let's see another topic. Position of a point means whether the point is inside or outside the circle. Okay guys, I thought to tell more in this video but the time is becoming somewhat more. So, let's stop this video here. In next video, we will discuss about position of points and position of some points. Whether it is inside, on or outside the circle and some other topics, inter other interesting topics. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon, it not to miss you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below, I will answer them in the next video. There may be any doubts outer from this subject or any doubts, I will answer them.